I'm Mikel Espian, I'm from Brooklyn. Mikel Lespierre, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Originally born in Trinidad, but I came here at a young age, six, and I'm um, resided in Brooklyn ever since. Like, I, 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 I grew up in East Flatbush, Brooklyn, the 90s to be exact. If A lot of y'all may not um, be familiar with it, but the infamous neighborhood where Bobby Schmurda is from, I, I'm like the older version to them. They, they, they were the young boys coming up. But um, yeah, growing up in the 90s was hard, man. Um, like I got involved with the wrong crowd at a young age. Still have friends that's a part of the streets. But you know, I found boxing because I used to fight a lot in the streets. And um, I had a friend of mine, um, his father was into boxing and got, uh, got us all in involved in boxing because we used to fight so much. But um, I'm, the, I'm the only one from the, from the three of us that stuck with it. But it was, it was definitely rough. And I used boxing as, a, you know, as a, a way to get away from all the madness in the streets. Best friends getting locked up for, for you know, stupid decisions, um, drugs. You know, boxing, like, like I said, boxing changed my life. The hardest thing that I that I ever went through growing up was um, just dealing with the streets, man. Um, like I said, being with um, the wrong, not even the wrong crowd, my friends. We, you know, we wanted to be a part of that street culture, you know. So we we wanted to fo follow in the footsteps of the older so-called gangsters of our neighborhood, you know, and putting ourselves in situations that we didn't belong in, like shootouts and brawl outs and going to parties and having beef with other people and you know just miscellaneous stupidness um making dumb decisions friends getting locked up friends getting killed you know so i think that was the hardest thing growing up you know for me around 99 2000 i had a friend that um that got killed i, I, I come from 96 in church church avenue and um you know like i said we were a part of the wrong crowd i had a friend that had beef with um, someone from the other side of, of the neighborhood. And um, he killed his brother, and then he saw, he saw his, 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 the guy that killed his brother on Church Avenue and killed him in broad daylight on Church Avenue. So now my man is in jail for life, and he has no brother, you know? So that was probably the hardest thing um, growing up that I, I experienced being around my friends. Um, and then, like I said, my, my best friend going to jail for five years and then other friends going to jail for five years and just making poor, de them making poor decisions and me seeing that and, and just taking initiative and learning from that. You know, like, like I said, boxing was my escape from all that. I used to play basketball um, in, in junior high school into high school and, you know, I, I tried out for AAU teams and did pretty well on, on that circuit, but my focus wasn't there. You know, I, as a young kid, I was involved in a lot of negative shit smoking weed. I started smoking weed at 13 while I was playing ball. This boxing just gave me more discipline. I knew that I couldn't do those things while boxing and it, it allowed me to let out anger and, and, and frustration, you know? And I wanted to become better. Like fighting was something natural to me in the street. So boxing just felt like that was it. I have a nine to five working at Mount Sinai Hospital. I work for, um, I used to do medical billing and now I um, work for ENT office at the PAC station on Union, Union Square. So um, I do that nine to five and then I box from five to nine. Typical day is me getting up at 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, my, actually my, my shift is from 7.45 to four. So I get up at 6 a.m. in the morning, get to work by like 7.30, get myself situated. The morning starts at 7.45, deal with patients all day long. And my, I, I work at an ENT office, so I deal with like 80 patients a day, different personalities daily. That could be mentally frustrating on, on anyone. Just dealing with different personalities and just having to smile at the same time, showing good customer service. At four o'clock, I clock out. By 4.30, I'm in the gym, put in whatever work I gotta put in. 
whether it's cardio, floor work, sparring. By 8.30, 8.45, I'm done wrapping it up. Get home by like 9.30, in bed by like 10.30, and it starts all over again. My opponent, Maurice Hooker, he's a world champion. That's all I, all, I, all I can say. I mean, he's nothing really spectacular. From what I hear, he wants to knock me out. I'm from Brooklyn, boy. That, that ain't happening, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to put me down and out for me to, to knock me out. But, um, I mean, he's a typical fighter, you know, long, rangy. Nothing that I haven't seen before. I fought a guy 6'1 before, and it was an easy fight. I mean, not to say he was on the same level as Maurice Hooker, because like I said, Maurice Hooker is a champion, but at the same time, I'm not letting nobody take away what's meant for me. Man, the feeling that I got when I got that call was, I couldn't believe it, you know. Like I said, my, my goal when I started training, tr started competing, was to become a world champion. Was to, you know, at least put myself in the position to get that opportunity. And when it came, it was like surreal, but once it, once it sunk in that I'm here, it was just off to the races. When I hear that announcer say in the new, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I think I might just start crying like a little baby. <laughs> That's that feeling that every every fighter, the the, the, the belt is the, is the perk, you know. Um, I'm chasing that feeling, that feeling to overcome adversity, to, you know, to overcome all the doubt that others may have had, all the, the non-believers. I want to, I want to put it to myself that I was able to do it and, and, and give myself that joy of saying you did it. You, you put in the work and you made it happen. Be proud of yourself. That's, that's, what, I'm, that's what it's going to feel like when they say and the new. My biggest motivation is to change my life, man. Um, like, I, like I said, I've been doing this. I, I was brought into boxing at a young age, but I didn't stick with it. You know, I, like I said, I was in the streets. I was, had a lot of bad habits. I didn't start taking it serious, seriously until like my early 20s, 20, 21. You know, and then I say, you know what, I'm gonna I'm get this thing all I have. I need to change my life. I, I need to put myself in a position to change my life. And ever since then, I've been making that sacrifice. And now I'm here, I'm in a position to change my life. And nobody's gonna take that away from me.